Welcome, 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 collective to Queen Sophie Real Tarot. Glad to have you guys join me. I'm back here again with another general message for the collective. Don't know what's coming out, but we're about to see. Okay, um, remember that energy is fluid. It could be the masculine or feminine, so please erase the rose when necessary. And also, time is fluid. It could be either past, present, or future energy that we're discussing here. Okay, so keep that in mind. What do we have here, Divine Spirit? Please and thank you for the cosmic guys and guys, sister love keeping it real with you. Thanks to all my subscribers, my loyal subscribers. I see you. I thank you. I appreciate you and to you all who have just tapped in for the first time. We'd love to have you join us. We'd love to have you join the family. Okay. What do we have here, Divine Spirit? Please and thank you. Don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button if you haven't already. If you have, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. What's the energy here for the collective? Divine Spirit, please and thank you. The energy here. We have presence in reverse. We have fair spirit. We have freedom in the reverse here. We have joy. And we have reflection. We have awareness on the bottom of the day. So the energy I'm getting here, um, collective, is that <clears throat> at the pre present moment, somebody's in a good mood. Somebody's a free spirit right now. Okay? After what all they've been through, I'm hearing that they made it. After all I've been through, I made it. That's what I'm hearing. Let's tap in a little bit deeper. <clears throat> See what's going on here. Make sure my cards are turning around right. Yep. Maybe you just experienced a loss. <coughs> Excuse me, collector. Maybe you just experienced a loss or something. Um, but you made it through. You handled it well. Um, are you handling it? Handling it well. Not better than you expected here. Okay. Hmm. Maybe um, this happened a while back. Um, it's been some time in between. Okay. And now you feel, you know, you feel a lot better. But like you can wake up today and say, I made it. That's what I'm hearing. What's here, Divine Spirit? What does the collective need to be aware of? Please and thank you. Yeah, something's changing here. There's a transformation. Something's changing um, in the near future here. Or it's happening for you right now. I'm getting up and up. I'm getting up and up. Uh, on the up and up. <laughs> Something like that. What's here, Spirit? Please and thank you. Yeah, there's some type of, um, maybe right now it's destined that you're free from this. It's your destiny to be free from this loss or this grief or this thing that made you sad, okay? It was not a part of your destiny, okay? Um, well, now you're feeling like, you know, you're ready to be creative. Now that you're free from, from, um... This, this change that you just went through. Just a life change you just went through. What is this spirit? Please clarify. For the collective. Yeah, I'm getting that some of you just went through a life change of some sort. Some of it, uh, so for some of you, it was um, getting over a loss of someone, over a loved one, um, over someone that was close to you. Okay. Wow. Maybe someone you grew up with. This could have been a friend or something like that. What's your spirit? But you're getting over a loss, okay? Um, you're able to get up now. Um, you're able to feel, you know, a little bit more happier than you were yesterday. Um, whenever that yesterday was to you, okay? When you were feeling um, that way in grief or in loss here. What else is here, Spirit? Please clarify for the collective. Okay. 
okay? You know, harmony. Okay, you're feeling a lot more self-confident. You feel like you can do some things now, whereas before, you feel like you were all tied up, you know, and your emotions, you were... <clears throat> You just couldn't move. You couldn't do anything. Okay, but now your your power is back. You're, you know, you're energized. You know, you're you're, you're feeling good. You're experiencing some, just some joy here. Okay, well, you're being happy. Um, you're taking care of yourself. Your well being is, you know, on point. Okay, well, and then whoever you're reflecting about, whoever you're thinking about, is also thinking of you. Okay. Whoever you're thinking about is also thinking of you. This brings you joy also, okay, and brings balance and harmony into your life, okay? Yeah. This person uh, that you may have lost may have been a blessing to you, or you felt like they were a blessing to you, okay? But, you know, when things changed, okay, things changed, okay? But still, you feel the same about this person, okay? Um, you may have lost them in the physical realm, or you may have lost them in the spiritual realm. Take it how it resonates, okay? But whoever you're thinking about is thinking about you. So let's dig a little deeper and see what spirit has to say here. Mm -hmm. Let's see where this reading is going to take us here. What do we have here, Divine Spirit? By my deck, we have nine of hearts here. Okay, yeah, harmony, protection. Whoever this is, is somebody that you're just thinking of you collective, and you're thinking of them. That was somebody that protected you. <clears throat> somebody, <clears throat> somebody want me to get this out? Excuse me. <clears throat> somebody that fulfilled you to bring a lot of harmony into your life, because harmony is here twice here. Okay, with the nine hearts. Okay, this is somebody that you really love. Somebody that brought, brought you a lot of joy here. Okay. <clears throat> I wanted to get that out. Yeah, my throat's chakra. Somebody, well, is not wanting me to speak whatever this truth is here. But you can't deny the spirit. Uh, spirit won't allow that. Whoever you are. <laughs> Just to let you know, FYI. FYI. What's here, spirit? Ooh, whoever you're thinking about is thinking about you, okay? <clears throat> yeah, possibly um, thinking about giving you a ring, making it official is what I'm getting here. Wow, because things have changed. Maybe this person was in a dark place, or maybe you're in a dark place collectively, and you, you pushed through. Okay, now you're on the up and up, okay? You're on the upbeat now, okay? <clears throat> maybe you weren't down before, but now you're up. You're on the upbeat. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, the mice on this card to me is these um, karmics out here, okay? These rats. <clears throat> these 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 people that try to break from you and stuff like that here, okay? Yeah. Mm. They wanted to see you, you know, or your person tied down to them. Okay, but Spirit said, no, no, no. You won't be tied down to this rat, this karmic. <laughs> no, you won't. Yeah, you came out of this dark place and, and into a marvelous light here. Light of life I'm getting here. But there is two karmics, a light-skinned one and a, a fair-skinned one here. That was trying to um, make sure that you um, didn't didn't have this, this person that you're with now that... They didn't never want, you know, uh, want things to change for you. They didn't want this this person to, uh, wow, feel the way about you the way they do. This person loves you here. This person is, um, trans, trans, you know, made a change for the better here, okay? They may have had some rat cheesy ass family members or friends that try to keep you two apart, but that's over with, okay? That's over with. Your person's gotten over that, listening to these rat cheesy ass karmics out here, okay? Wow. No, they cannot not stop thinking about you. Thinking about you makes this person happy. It gives them a lot of self-confidence, okay? But this is somebody who wants to protect you, okay? Wow. Well, in the past year, 
these karmics uh hmm may try to hide some things from you okay had the fact that they was doing some old shit up under the moon here okay but you use your intuition you remained in your power you remained balanced here okay well you kept it moving is what I hear, 2332. You kept it moving on their asses. Oh, wait. And remained happy in your bag. Wow. What else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. But whoever you're thinking about is thinking about you. Or the person, you, yeah, the person you're thinking about is thinking about you. That's what Spirit said. They're thinking about giving you a ring. You had a bear here. Bear's always after that honey. Mm-hmm. But they'll tear a campground up for that honey. And this is what this bear gonna do for you. Yeah, don't sleep on them. Don't sleep on your person here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a couple a couple of rats, you know, in the camp that want to try to keep you and your person apart here. Okay. Yeah, because they was eating off your person. They was, you know, your person was probably helping them in some kind of way, taking care of them. And they felt like if, if your person, you know, bridged the gap between you and your person, if, if your person bridged the gap, that they wouldn't be fed no more. They couldn't eat off your person no more. You know what I'm saying? They couldn't feed off your person no more. And this is why these karmics try to get in the way here. They ain't got nothing else fucking to do here. But try to eat out of your person's bag here. Fucking rats. Mm. Yeah, your masculine here. Your masculine love you. Gonna give you a ring. I want to give you a ring. And these karmics didn't want to see it happen. It's it's two of them. It's a um a fair skin one and a light skin one here. No, it could be dark complected. Mm-hmm. They want your masculine to consider time to not with you. Okay, but they got they tell their motherfucking where they in and out of shit. You know what I'm saying? They hide behind shit, watching. Uh, they just wanted to like, you know, your man's going to keep taking care of them. Um, keep eating off your masculine, okay? Keep, keep using your masculine for, for money, for work, for whatever they could use your masculine for is what I'm getting here. And they was trying to hide the shit. They were trying to hide the shit, though. I'm telling you, they were doing some type of magic under the moon and shit to keep you and your person apart. But you remain happy in your bag. You was not bothered. You're you a very self-confident person. You don't make shit happen anyway. All kind of shit. You stand in your power by yourself. But, nonetheless, who you think about is thinking about you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Want to settle down with you. And these rats, these rat-ass karmics, is mad about it. So let them be mad. Okay? Shit. They mad because they can't get nobody. And and they can't use your person no more. Hmm. They can't use your person no more. If your person is coming right towards you, even though they tried to do this little, little moon magic, spell magic bullshit that didn't work, Okay? Backfire <laughs> got sent right back to their ass, <laughs> and the ship is going that way right back to them. Okay, and your person is only thinking about settling down with you. Okay, coming towards you to settle down with you because your person is saying you're the one, you're the one they want to marry, you're the one they want to marry, you're the one they want to commit to. You are their honey, yeah, you are their honey. Wow. Plus, what else is here, spirit? It's two karmics mad. It could be two siblings. It could be them, two children. It could be just two damn karmics. Wow. It's just, you know, mad because they, they can't use your person anymore. Use your feminine anymore. You know? Take care of resonates. Okay? Yeah. The river, their river runs dry. Okay. Uh, this this may, may be some fishy ass, <laughs> fishy ass karmics here. Okay, some doing some fishy shit. Okay, but they didn't get that fishy shit off because your masculine still, or your feminine still coming towards you. 
But they fishy ass is trying to cause a terror in somebody's life. Shit. Mm-hmm. Ain't even a part of the damn family. Shit. Your masculine is, is offering you the key to, 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 to his or her heart. Or your feminine is offering you the key to their heart. Yeah. And separating from this damn family if it's his family. Because they always starting shit. They always starting trouble. Okay. Keeping shit stirred up. Okay. Wow. Because none of them put their money where their mouth is because they ain't got no money. They was usually uh, uh, using your person for their money. And being masculine and feminine. Take that resonates. They ain't got nothing. Shit. Something's going to be, um, something that somebody going to be putting in their place here. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. If it means that somebody has to be straightened out, like, and somebody may get their ass kicked. I'm just saying about this masculine about messing with you. Because you, this, you, you, you all this masculine think about day and night. Let me see. What's that song? <clears throat> Let me see. Let me try to get it right. I only think of you on two occasions. That's day and night. Yeah. Yeah, this person, that's all they think about. It's you, day and night here. Coming towards you. Okay? Coming towards you. Hmm. Yeah, they coming towards you. If they're not already with you. They don't care about what these karmics think, whether they're family members, friends, whoever. They don't give a shit about what they think no more. Shit, because they knew they was up to some fishy shit. With they fishy asses. I'm getting they fishy asses. They blocked out from the family anyway. Because they cause a lot of chaos and conflict here. Because you got the key to your person's heart. And they're going to put you above family. You are going to be your person's family. Okay. Well, some kind of letter here. Message. Okay. That you're going to be receiving. And your person going to be telling you 33 is here. The number 33. Is you know that you're a good luck charm. You're their good luck charm. Yes, you are. You're their good luck charm. Mm. And these fishy karmics knew it. Could be a sibling, okay? Um, or it could be some children of your person that was, you know, just using your person for the money or whatever here. Yeah. Thought they'd be sneaky, but they got caught. Okay. Thought they'd do some sneaky shit. Some fishy shit I'm here, but they got caught here. Okay. Now it's raining on their head. They ain't got no covering over their head. Maybe they got put out the house. Okay. But they disloyal asses. Okay. Now they don't know which fucking way to go here. Okay. Because they probably got put out the house like I said. This master was singing. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Or when he's gone. Okay. Wow. They so, say, you know, you light up their life. They got to... These, these, these karmics got to find their way. I don't, I don't know if they family members, children, or whatever. They got to find their own way because shit is over for them. This masculine is moving towards you. This masculine or this feminine is moving towards you. Take how it resonates, okay? They coming. They coming. I don't care what these karmics try to hide from this masculine that they was doing, you know, to try to keep you and your person apart here, Okay? Because I'm getting these two feminine kar kar karmics here. With they broke asses, okay? Ain't nothing slick about they asses here. And ain't nothing love lovely about them either. They just pissed off because your master wants to give you flowers. Your person wants to give you flowers. Take out resonates, reverse the rose, okay? Wow. They want to build with you. I see garden here. They want to build with you. They want to grow with you here. Anything else here, spirit? <laughs> These karmas don't have to find their own way. They don't have to find their own way. They don't be able to depend on your person no more. So I'm asking. They don't be able to depend on you no more. Okay. They have to learn for, uh, you know, how not to just fish for for, uh, for a day, but, you know, fish for a lifetime. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because they've been eating off your person. Eating out their bag. You know, their purse, their pocketbook, their wallet. Take it out resonates. Okay? Yeah. They've been using your person for their money. And using excuses and shit, you know. Like I said, ooh, there's a love message coming in here. 
The number 12 could be significant. Yeah, this is going to be completed. You got the key to this person's heart here. Okay. Wow, this person wants to build with you. What else do we have here, Spirit? Let's see. Oh, my God, it's good. Wait a minute. This deck right here. Let's see what we have here to clarify. Yeah. This person's going to make sure they get the message to you that you, that, that you know that they love you and want to be with you. And they choosing you over their family and their friends or whoever. It doesn't matter. Well, they only think of you on two occasions, honey. That's day and night. Okay, take it. It resonates. Yeah. Soulmate energy here. Soulmate energy. Yeah. This person's calling you in. This person's calling you in. This is a love call. <laughs> this is definitely a love call. Two lovebirds. Oh. Two little lovebirds sitting in the tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Wow. <laughs> First comes love. Then comes marriage. Then comes the baby in the carriage. So some of y'all might be expecting. I don't know why I sung that song. <laughs> but anyway, I think Spirit sung it, not me. But anyway, be expecting it. Some of y'all could be expecting here. When this person uh, come to you, uh, they're going to come to you with a sincere heart. Okay. Only wanting to be with you. Want y'all to walk side by side here. Okay. Wow. Number 10 could be significant. Number 15. Okay. And number 35. You could be 35. They could be 35. Okay. Yeah. You feel like you've known each other before. Okay. And this person is coming in wanting to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. Okay. They want to come in and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you because they know there's been problems in the past here. Okay. Wow. They want to make you happy. Very soon. Very soon. So this is setting it very soon. It's going to happen fairly quickly. Okay. They ending it with these karmics interfering. They tired of this karmic interfering with their life, their happiness, their destiny here. It's, it's, they're, they're ready to be happy with you. Okay, all they can think about is you. You think about them, they think about you. You think about them, they think about you. They think about you, you think about them, okay? It's back and forth, okay? It goes both ways. I'm hearing the sword cuts both ways here. Yeah. They making sure that these karmas let go of these so-called control issues they thought they had over your person here. Your person ain't playing this shit no more. Yeah. They hoping that you will accept them when they do come, Okay. Except that when they do come, because they're, they're letting everything else go for you. Okay? Wow. They're not going to, you know, they done told these karmic, these rat-ass karmics that's, you know, stayed in their bag. That, hey, look, y'all on your own. Y'all got, got to find your own way. They got to find their own way. They in the dark without, without your person taking care of them. They in the dark here. And, and shit ain't got nowhere to go. Okay, been living off your person here. Okay, this shit, your person ending that shit here. Okay, so now these uh, little um, musket mouth ass motherfucking um, karmics, shit, don't know where to go. Siblings or, 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 or children or whatever, whoever the fuck, friends or whatever, they was unloyal anyway. Okay, this shit, they're gonna have to figure out, figure, figure out how to walk in the rain. They better get an umbrella or something. Okay, the spirit said they want up with snakes here. Okay. Snakes with venom, just just keeping chaos and conflict going on, and staying on that, using somebody, trying to keep your person from being happy with you. Mm. Wow. Yeah, ain't no separation like they thought. Like they thought was gonna happen. I think that's probably why they tried to move magic to keep y'all separated. And spirit said, "Uh, uh, y'all ain't gonna be separated. Y'all gonna be together." Like birds of a feather together. Shit. I'm hearing your, your person coming with a ring. Okay. Your person is coming with a ring. Mm. Your person wants this to be together. Like together, together. And they ready with some ass behind you too. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody got a mask and ain't playing about their ass. They ready with some ass, or somebody got a feminine they ain't gonna play about their mask in here, and they wouldn't whoop some ass here. They go, That's my person, but I will whoop you know, if you try to mistreat my person, I use my person, I will whoop your ass. That's what I'm seeing here. What else is here, spirit? 
This person truly loves you. This first person is lucky to have you. So no. Yeah. There's something about a flirt here. Let's just find out. Oh. One of these karmas could have been a, a flirt. Yeah, that's why it's a light skinned one and a dark skinned one here. One of them could have been trying to flirt with your person here. <laughs> Try to keep you and your person separated here. Okay, they could be a, a, a friend of, of uh, this other karmic here, this other karmic energy here. That's this um, related somehow to your person. Both of them rats eating out your person's bag. When I say bag, that means your pocketbook or your bill for okay. Using up your credit card and shit like that. Don't have nowhere to stay. You know, trying to live off of you. You know, trying to block your path, block your destiny or whatever. They need to find their own damn way. Okay. Man, what else is here? Maybe because you was kind to these motherfuckers. Your person was kind to these motherfuckers. They took advantage is what they thought they was going to do. But you with the storm here, I see. You with the storm here. You bring yourself up out of that dark place. Okay, and now you feel joy here. Okay, and now your person is thinking about you when you think about your person. And y'all, you know, thinking about being happy with one another. Wow. Yeah. Your person feels at peace with you. Your person thinks you're sweet as honey. Okay, and they're headed towards you. Okay. They may have to, you know, get some stuff together, but they come in with a ring. Okay. And there was a karma that was trying to flirt. But, hey. Release your exes here. And maybe this this is an ex that was hanging out like they was fucking family. And your person was still trying to, you know, feel obligated to, to somewhat, you know, help this person. Because they didn't have nowhere to go. They didn't have nowhere to live and shit. And they was telling them. But now they're like, uh-uh. You got to find your own way from here. I helped you long enough. Yeah, you went in my pockets deep. Okay? But I got to get got to give it over here to my person. And, you know, where I'm happy at. Okay? Wow. Because they're not happy with that other person. Okay? And this karmic is pissed about it. Oh, well. Pissed because you're your person's true love here. Ooh-wee. Love birds. <laughs> Your person's true love. You, it's a lot of attraction between you and your person here, okay. And this unrequited love over here, mm -hmm. with this karmic ex that still tries to hang out like they're still family. And eh. nah, your person like hell no, get away from me. Yeah, I'm going over here with my true love, the one I'm truly attracted to. Okay, twenty eight oh two on the clock. And they know you could be the one. They think about you, collective. They think about you. Oh, they have been made aware of a bunch of shit here. Oh, we. Your yeah, awareness is here. They are more focused now um, on seeing, you know, what's really going on. And, and they know what they really want to choose right now. And what they really want to choose right now is you, collective. Here is what I'm getting here. What else is here, spirit? Oh, and these karmics is red ass. Karmics is mad. They mad because they can't use your person no more. <laughs> but your person the, the bro, it will break them off some. I hear, I, I'm hearing your person. I'll break you off a little something, something. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I will break you off. You don't help you out, but I will break you off the other way too. You understand me? I will break you off another way if you don't back up off me and my person. Okay, go find your way. It's probably trying to flirt with your person and everything. Okay, you study over here. Healing, you know, from the past and shit, from the grief and the loss that you was feeling, okay? You over here healing, you know, standing in your power, you know, you know, glowed up, you know, showed up and glowed up. Well, this person is coming in towards you, okay? Your person is coming in towards you, collective. Okay. This old ratty-ass flirt over here. Yeah, you may have let your friends help you. You know, you maybe have gotten to some type of support group. or gotten some support from somebody to bring you out of this dark, dark place you was in of depression and frustration and just, you know, life, you know, things just moving too fast for you and things of that nature. And you're just like, hey, you know, 
You probably do have some friends that help you out that dark place. Okay. If it was just one person, they helped you. Okay. Well, they help you to a place of joy. And now your person is trying to contact you. Um, trying to send you a message here that they're coming towards you here. Okay. Maybe they had to get their finances together because they had this begging, bitch, this begging energy um, over here. There's more than one of them, okay? It was a light skinned one and a dark skinned one. And they were some begging ass holes. These holes was begging out here. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, but these holes was begging out here. And they was, man, they was trying to drain your masculine. Okay. They was trying to drain your person. Every time they had shit, they had your person working, working, working. Working, working, working day and night. Mm hmm. Yeah. Your person was still thinking about you the whole time. Yeah. So that's the financial issue that was the hold up. But now, your person might have been saving up, saving up to buy your ring. Because they want you to have a special ring. I'm here. Okay. This is a special made ring. This ain't going to be just any store bought ring, anything like that. This is a this is a special ring. My designer is going to be designed especially for you. Okay, is what I'm getting here. Okay. That's why your person is so focused on their, their uh, finances right now. They want to... This, this this ring is going to be one that nobody else can wear but you. Wow. So they're getting everybody out their pocket. So they get, you know, have their finances and everything in order when they come towards you. You know, it could just be bliss. You know. Happiness, cause you you you're, you're their honey, okay. You're their sweetheart. You're the you're the good luck charm. <laughs> Take how it resonates. They done with that fishy shit over there. That fishy shit over there. They done with that shit over there. That shit didn't do nothing but big and and, and want to lay up in the house. Try to flirt with your person. Still wasn't paying no attention to their ass. They was just trying to help them out. Being a nice human being trying to help another person out to get on their feet but this person this karmic was dragging their fucking feet they were steady just feeding off your person them and another family member is what i'm getting here they lazy asses but no love there oh here in that house love don't live here anymore yeah because you're your person's new love here oh and it's been salty let me sprinkle some salt on this bitch. You a salty bitch, ain't you? Let me salt you right on up, you salty bitch. Oh, sorry about that, y'all. Mm. That's a salty bitch, y'all. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that left a bit of taste in her mouth. Ooh, she's salty. Well, she got to fend for herself. Uh, they got to fend for themselves, so they can't eat up your person no more. And they got to start making their own plates. <laughs> Let's see what that shit look like. Spirit, what's going on here? Um, yeah, your person's on their way to express their love to you. Show sure is. Yes. Wow. New love. They feel like you be the one. Collect, they feel like you be the one. You be that one. You hear me? You be that one. <laughs> spirit, you funny sometimes anyway. What's going on here, Spirit? It's going to be a lot of laughter between you two. I can tell you that now. Because I know you don't laugh like this. But it's just the Spirit be funny sometimes. Like they make you use all kinds of voices and stuff like that. What's going on here, Spirit? <laughs> <laughs> your person's just gonna make you real happy i mean you ain't gonna be able to stop laughing y'all gonna laugh a lot together wow they're gonna make up for lost time is what i'm getting here what's going on here spirit thank you yeah they're leaving that <laughs> salty bitch behind and that salty ass relative okay I want to take you on a honeymoon. We want to go to Carmen Waters with you. Maybe take you on a cruise. Oh, yeah. You might like to go sailing. Okay. Wow. Maybe Paris. Something like that, you know. 
something like that they want to take you somewhere really nice something like that okay just the two of us we can make it if we try just the two of us you and i mm -hmm. yes oh and it's going to be beautiful it's like almost like an angel standing on that boat too oh it's just in white wow that's pretty hmm yeah they want to take you on a vacation wow enjoy the bliss with you show you how happy they are with you collective you think good luck charm well are they thinking of you are you thinking of them they thinking of you and these rats got a pack <laughs> 53 on the clock. These rats got a pack. They mad. They salty as fuck. Let me sprinkle some outside on these salty ass bitches. <laughs> they got a pack. Fucking pack rats. Pack. <laughs> what else is your spirit? Please and thank you. What else is your spirit? Mm hmm. Ooh, I told you they want to take you on a vacation, on a retreat. Oh, your person, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if your person asks you to go on a retreat with them, okay? They want to take you somewhere nice. Maybe they might want to take you out of the country. If you live in the United States, they want to take you out of the country. I was getting Paris. Paris. France. Francais. Hmm. The Virgin Islands. How about Jamaica, baby? I mean, wherever you want to go. You know, wherever you want to go. Spain, whatever. They want to take you somewhere. I don't mess the spirit, please. Thank you. Your person better take you, give you a trip, take your honeymoon. This sounds like some mirror shit to me right here. Ooh, it's safe for you to love. If you didn't know, now you know. It's safe for you to love you. Mm. Your person's definitely going to make the effort. If they have to take you on a retreat, get you away from it all, I'm here to get you away from it all because they know you've been in a dark place and they want to take you to a brighter place. Oh, they want to brighten up your life. They want to bring joy to you. And just like you... You know, your person's thinking about you. You think about your person, too. They're coming towards you. One more, Steve. They're coming towards you. You light up this person's life. Whether you know it or not. You light up your person's life. And they want you to go on a retreat with them here. They want to take you on a vacation, a honeymoon. Somewhere nice. Your choice, though. Your choice. Where would you like to go? Oh, I can see them kissing your hand and everything. Getting on that knee and giving you this ring here. Yes, I see it for you. Things are about to change in your life. Very soon. Very soon. That's what spirit said. Anything else your spirit? You want to collect it or not? Oh, just wanted to make you aware of that. Wanted to make sure that you were aware of that. Oh my goodness, top second spirit. That your person is coming towards you with a ring. <laughs> There's a honeymoon ahead. Okay. A retreat. They want to take you somewhere. So may energy. Anything else your spirit? These rats got a pack. Let me put some more side on. Put some more side on these rats here. These reds got to post some side on. Spirit tell me to post some side on. They're like snails. You, you post side on, they melt and shit. Okay, like the witches they are, okay? Mm -hmm. Trying to live off somebody else. Mm -hmm. They just got left behind. <laughs> now they're at a crossroad. They don't know which way to go, which way we go. Hey, they got a fin, but they sell. Like fishes got fins. Spirit said they got a fin, but they sell. 
Okay. They can no longer eat up your person no more. Your person come to school with you. Mm hmm You complete your person. Wow. And your person completes you. And if they have to cut off family or whatever, friends, whatever, they coming for you. What else is here, spirit? Please and thank you. The chemistry. I told you. Oh, insane chemistry. Passion. You thinking of them? They thinking of you? There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Okay. Wow. Recognize the energy. Be aware of it. Okay. Recognize the energy and be aware of it. Yeah, I told you y'all would have a lot of fun because I was just acting like, like, silly, I've never laughed this much in a video ever. <laughs> like, really? So it can be a lot of playfulness between you two, a lot of joy. Wow. I'm going to end it right there, okay? But, seriously, not before you tell them about the engagement that's on the way. So, hey, an engagement's on the way. That mask on. Get ready for it. All right, with that being said, <laughs> Spirit said, be aware of what's coming your way. Give it a chance. Give it a chance. You'll love it. Give it a chance. Okay, with that, I'm going to end the message. Peace, love, and light. One love always. I'm out.